you park it? This is a tricky question because it could mean one of two things, and I always have to ask, do you mean where will I park the trailer while I build the house? Or do you mean once the house is done being built, where will I park it and live in it? Now, for people who are building a stationary tiny home, that's a pretty simple question. You're probably going to build it where you're going to live in it. So, same answer. It's not the case here because I intend to be mobile. So, I need a place where I can do the construction work, and then once I move into the house, I'll be moving. So, the answer to the question, where will you park it while you're building it, I'm still looking for a place. I need something indoors with a large enough door that I can get the house back out once it's done. So I'm looking for kind of a warehouse space with electricity. That's really all I need. I don't need much. The ability to lock up the tools when I'm not there, that would be really great. And being able to get it back out. That's all I need, really. Um, but I don't have a location yet which is okay because we still have some work to be done to the trailer but we're gonna need it very soon like within the next month or two we're going to need a place to, to do the construction so if you know of anybody or any spaces or something like that let me know I would really really appreciate it the second part where will I park it once the house is built and I'm living in it well that's really gonna depend on what day it is because I'll be traveling around to wherever I'm needed What's great is that there are options. I could park it in someone's driveway. I could park it in their backyard. I could park it in a cul-de-sac. I could park it in a lot of 24-hour lots, believe it or not. Um, some places are really okay with you parking in their lot as long as you're not there for a month. If you're only there for two or three days, it's fine. Go ahead and get permission though. Always get permission. But it's kind of a, it's an intriguing thing that people don't see all the time, and you'll actually attract business for the places that let you park there. So it's a really, it's a win-win situation if you can find a place to park where they benefit from it too. There's RV lots. And be sure to get creative. There's going to be things that occur to me while I'm traveling and trying to find a place to park that I may not think of while I sit here in a house that's not moving. And that, that's okay. I can figure some of that out later. The, the environment that we're working in is changing so rapidly. Two years ago, nobody heard about tiny houses. Now we're on TV. There's a lot to be done, but parking? Parking's kind of the least of my worries. Parking's gonna happen. Why do I need help with funds to build the tiny house? Aren't they super affordable? Yes, they are. But this is something that a lot of people are dealing with. So I'll share a little personal story with you guys. About three years ago, I got really sick. And it took us a while to figure out what was wrong. And once we figured it out, we were able to fix everything. We, we were able to address the underlying problem all the symptoms went away and it's been a really really interestingly great experience getting healthy again what that also means is that I'm still paying for it so I just don't have the funds left over to tackle the tiny house it's very frustrating to know you should be doing something like building tiny houses for other people who really really need the shelter and not being able to do it because three years ago you got sick. So instead of waiting another two years when I would have everything paid off, I decided that I needed to stop dragging my feet and go ahead and get started. And that's where you guys come in because I think I think this is something that we all want to happen and I don't necessarily have to take it all on myself. I think if it's a community effort, it means more. So, as reluctant as I am to ask for help, because I am that kind of stubborn, um, I went ahead and did it. And you guys have been really amazing. Um, I'm hopeful. Life has changed a bit in the last 
six months, a year. So I'm actually pretty hopeful that I'll be able to pay everything off, including my medical bills and such, this year, instead of it taking another two years. So I think we can do this.